The amateur game has always been a big part in their lives. It's always the topic of their conversations and is constantly on our minds on a daily basis. Although it's not at a professional level, the amateur game is a working class sport at a working class level. Players put their bodies on the line, life's on hold, and have worked their socks off to be the best they can be from the top to the bottom of the amateur game. We live and breathe football and the amateur game has given us our best years in football. Both of us have come to the end of our playing days and want to sit and speak to the legends of the game, the legends in their world, to sit and listen about the careers and stories of the game we love. Welcome to our podcast. Three points, please. Okay, today we have an ex-teammate of ours, probably the most name that has came up in the podcast and probably made the most best 11s. Probably one of the best goal scorers in amateur football and probably one of the best players we've ever played with or seen as well. Today, Dino Kelly. Welcome, nice Dino. to meet you, boys. <laughs> old, old friends. <laughs> but, uh, but you're I'm against you now because you play for. So we're going to say that you're out in Kilmore at the moment. How's yeah, it obvious? It's going all right. Um, I think uh, fingers sort of killed us there. What was it two weeks now? Uh, two weeks ago, yeah. I think they sort of killed us off a little bit, but we're still fighting for pro- uh, promotion. So hopefully we can uh, get that. As you just told me, three people go up. So. We were hoping one of them. Your drive was still there. We were just talking a few minutes ago there. Your drive was still there for it and your point of proof for everyone, mm. uh, the, kind of, the doubters or whatever else. But yeah. how, how's that going for you? Come here, everyone always has doubters, don't they? And as a striker, your doubters is just to go out and score goals and put it in their face. But every week I, st- I still want to go out and score two, three goals. Listen, if you get one of you, you're happy. Yeah, as a centre forward, though, it's probably the biggest doubt is probably yourself, though. It's it's a confidence thing, isn't it? So Yeah, I was just actually talking to Al there, there. I, I don't know what's going on with me lately, but coming up to games and stuff like that, I'm still getting, I'm getting mad anxiety yeah. before games and all. Like, I've had panic attacks before games and everything. It was never like that before. I was always confident and all. Now, I am confident going out on the pitch, but I'm, I struggle a bit with anxiety now yeah, before yeah. I go out. Do you think that comes with, with age, like of not like probably saying to yourself, oh, like I'm a bit older now, I'm probably not going to be able to perform with the expectations this is it, that this people have. Like me. people, like I'm 28 now, and people just think, right, yes, I'm Dean Kelly, he'll come up, he'll score. Yeah, 20 odd goals or whatever. That's why like people that, signed Dean Kelly has just come up and scored. That's yeah, it, but like, this <laughs> is it. Like, but it was never a striker where, like, that you just was. I was on the pitch, and then oh, he just scored. Like you do nothing in the game and score. Yeah. Oh, I always ran my balls off. Yeah, yeah. and worked hard. And I always got the rewards from that. Yeah. So Yeah, I always started with that force, didn't you? Like walk hard oh, force and then the rest. My of the thought was always when I went out, run hard, get stuck into a tackle. What was it? Your manager always turns around, was it start from the top? And that was my attitude was to run around, get stuck into tackles, and hopefully get a goal. I, I, I done that over the mm, years. Over the years, all the way through, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um so take us back to you know where you where it all began, Jesus, well, even though we probably know. earlier on, but yeah, my first memories is uh, good old Rivermount boys. Um, who else, would, who would we be thinking of? Joe Bennett. Joe, yeah. Um, Alan, Alan Bartley was my manager. Yeah, yeah. He used to come up and uh, knock on my door to get me, mad to get me out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't remember what age it would have been, like, before the team up there, probably you know, under 10s or something like that. Um, but yeah, I remember playing down on the stretch. Who, who uh, was on that team there? Well, it's Alan Bartley's son, Alan. Alan, yeah. Hey, Packy, is it Packy? Packy would have been. Packy's a bit younger. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. Here, my age, Packy, Packy was, yeah. Um, who else would have been on it? Lee Tompkins. Lee the Tompkins. new Aslan. Yeah. 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 Frontman. Congratulations. Well, Daz been down there as well. Daz was there. Yeah. there Daz, I think Daz was a bit younger, but he would have been. Younger, the year younger. Maybe. Ray Hoyland well. there as well, was he? Or he younger yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. River Mount had a good side of Daz's year, yeah. Really yeah. good side he had. But, yeah, that swindled out, and then I ended up going up to... Now Finglish United um, Wefta I'm sure people are sick of hearing the, Yeah we have to talk But sure that's your career yeah, you can't, you can't, That's what it is That's what we always revert back to Because mm. that's all we know Is, is uh, Wefta That's what we always go back to You know I, I, Do we still I come up to watch this a few times And I still I And mean, even With my young lad playing For the under 10s I would still be screaming on, Come on Wefta <laughs> And everyone would be looking at me <laughs> 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 We do it all the time In games yeah But uh, yeah, Vinnie McCarthy, who's the manager of me, team, and he just be looking at me. <laughs> 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 it's just a habit, isn't it? Yeah, it'll probably never leave us. Like, and, and look, as you said, Nelson, people are probably sick of us talking about Wefta, but look, that's that's where we 
we grew up with that's and, a, that's and a touch if, base, if that's the conversation a, yeah, yeah. goes back to after look it's uh, unfortunately you just have to deal with it yeah. um, but it's where their heart was as a schoolboy so you came up around 12 or 13 was it 12, 13 was it yeah I think it was around that age we, we we got, got, I was originally from Ballymun and I moved to Fingers I'd say when I was I think it was around 8 or something like that yeah it is yeah and then we went to River Mount, and then it wasn't at River Mount for too long and up the way after and yeah it was, it was that's a force year we got to the all in foil against showies it was an over a picture I remember the way nail and all we had a picture of the world like black like power rollers we pulled out off the street we were able was that the, I, 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 we were talking over a penal and nail I missed the penal was that that game I don't know putting on a nail now but if no, you say it so in the final was it yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, on the AUL and the AUL thing, but that went to Joey's. Joey's, 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 yeah, when Joey's, yeah, we played again in the under 15. Some, some players in that team, Joey's mm. Alan O'Brien, Alan O'Brien, yeah, Crocker marked them out Pass, of the game. Yeah, Crocker played yeah. full, did he? Padge, 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 Padge. yeah, for Joey's, James yeah, Matthews, yeah, yeah, James yeah. Matthews as well. He used yeah. to have a big quality mop ahead. Yeah. So you've got a few, few lads that they had uh, that kind of went away. Most of that team actually went away, didn't they? I don't know if most of them came back as well, but. The majority did come yeah. back that age, didn't they? I don't think many people kind of stuck it out really, or but, um, not stuck it out, but didn't make it. They would have torn our sides because we got to, under 15s, we got to the final as well. And well, he beat to us as well. Yeah, beat the us replay twice. actually, the final went to the replay for some reason. I think that was, it might be in the one, I want to say it again. <laughs> 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 it's the but, uh, yeah, they beat us twice. Yeah. Same, exact same squad they had, we had the exact same squad. Yeah, as well. exactly, yeah. Just have it obviously. But we won the league that year, did we under 16? 16, 16. Yeah. We won the league. That was, that was some achievement because. There was some like Stella Mars, uh, Cherry Orchard. Yeah. There was some and Joe's unbelievable well, sides yeah. in, in, in that. Yeah. Age like. And River Valley Rangers had a good side that back back then as well. They, they mm. were sticking at the team as well. Yeah. yeah. You went all the way from there straight up to Steadwood after, didn't you? All the way to yeah, 18s. Yeah. Steadwood left up to 18s, yeah. And uh, I would have gone down to Talk Rovers then for the seniors from 18. My brother would have been still playing. Jay would have been still playing right back there. I can't remember who the manager was at that time. But whoever it was, I think, got let go. And then it was OB. You know, Paul O'Brien came in. I think I think got a year with him. And then from there, I, where did I go from there then? I can't even remember where I went from there. But, uh, I can't even remember. I'm trying to think <laughs> where I went from there, from talking. I went to Crumlin. Crumlin, yeah, there's yeah, Crumlin, yeah. Did, were you not at the Seniors? Did you go to no, the Seniors? I, I think I played one or two games with the Seniors when I was like still at the 17s or 18s or something right. like that. But... Never, I never done a, a full used to bring us a few of us in, didn't he, uh, yeah. at that age? Yeah, yeah. we few of us went up. I remember being on the bench and stuff like that. And I remember like being on the bench. I think a few of us, Al, you would have been there on the bench, would you? We were. We were seniors. seniors. I was seniors, yeah. Boys, yeah. And being on the side. Oh, no, I, I would have never played when I was a schoolboy. I'd have never played for the... I think I played probably one or two for the Saturday team, mm. maybe. But other than that, no, and I wouldn't have played for the first team. Tough lads on that team, like... Uh, I always remember Bill and you're like, Jesus, do I want to go on here? <laughs> These lads are killing me. <laughs> it's a yeah. proper man's well, you game, did, you, isn't you, it? Yeah. You just went with the flow and you found your feet in the end. I think it'd be easier was. for the centre forward to, to come on to the game than, than a kind of defender to, yeah. to come on to the pitch because the centre forwards back then were bleeding big, big. I suppose centre halves as well were big lads centre as well. Yeah, mm, back then just wanted to kill you. Yeah, yeah. And they wouldn't care how old no, you were if you were no, 16, 17, no. you're getting broke up. Yeah, if, we, yeah, if you're yeah. good enough to be on the pitch, you're good enough to yeah, get a smack. Definitely, yeah. So you would have obviously went through it. Would you have stayed there with OB at Tonker Rovers until the J take over then? Or yeah, what Jay way took over then. Uh, straight away Jay, after so him. for a couple of years. J took over after him, yeah. And, uh, we don't really well. Not actually. Team down there yeah, had, yeah. We should have we should have won we should have won leagues, we should have won cups. We just couldn't get over the line. We won a Charlie Cattle, that was one of the great days down Tolga. Um Jay being the manager. Jay came right through school boys to become manager, which is some achievement. Tolga man, wasn't I he all the way through Jay, Some yeah. achievement yeah. Like, but, uh, to become manager. I think he was player manager for a little yeah. bit as well, and then he just packed it in and came manager. So I went down, we had Crocker, Naylor. Mark O'Neill, um, some, with some great players. Obviously, Gip Barber came down as well. Robbie O'Reilly came in to help Jay out then as well. So the two of them were, two of them are doing the management together. But uh, with some side there, we should have won more. Yeah, should have won mm. more there. Yeah, the bar there was well. It was it'd be good crack after matches and everything else. It was it? great, and then it was a great pull for to get players down there. With the, the floodlights went in, and you had the bar where your people come down and watch from the the stand in the bar. And the people be drinking there, like it's, yeah. it's it was great atmosphere. Like one time before, Anne used to come into Samjas and all, so it was a yeah. proper proper. Yeah, and I always come down to the, yeah. the Samjas. Yeah, uh, I don't know what you're saying about Monty. He used to come up to Monty with the dinners and everything. But uh, 
Yeah, yeah Talk was, Talk was a great club back then. I, I don't have much dealings with it now, but it was it was a great club back then. You, you know, on the Sunday, I remember going down to watch Talk when Jay was there, and you couldn't get a seat in the yeah. in the pub. They'd have barriers for the players uh, because you couldn't get a seat, so there'd be a place barred off for the players. Now you go down, you'd be lucky to have the yeah, ten yeah. lads down there. The culture's the place kind of gone, the pub doesn't it? even open. Yeah, it only, only opens weekends, weekends, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, but what it's a club though as well. Like it's, it's still a great club. It's cool. still a great club. And Pierre and uh, Eamon are doing a great job mm. down there. If you ask me, they're doing a great job now at the minute. I think they're mid table in the top league already now. Yeah, well, yeah, table. yeah. I think they're yeah, they're just under mid table. Yeah, so they've, they've, they've well. done well, you know, with what they have down there. They've, they've done really well. There's some good players down there. So I haven't seen much of them. I haven't yeah, seen the tall side issue. Yeah, there's it, Jake. Uh, there's a fan in the middle park, Jake, and uh, who else have they got down there? I don't know them all the names, but they're some some smashing young lads down there, you know. It'll probably take a couple of years for them to kind of yeah to get, to get hit that problem. Well, the, well yeah. in fairness to them, fair play to them. They're all sticking it out down there. Like you know, you don't see much movement down there, and that's good on Pierre and uh, and Eamon. Mm. And I think Elliot's there as the coach. But uh, yeah, it's good to see that they're they're, they're all staying and sticking it out. As Did you, you go know, back for a season? Around. Did you go back? To I the went back league? for a season. Yeah, yeah. and I that, yeah. that was saying about the. The panic attacks, I mean, my dad, that's when I think I started getting it, but Pierre was great down there with me. I literally had to come off the pitch a few times. Did you, yeah. yeah. But uh, I'm getting control of it now, but yeah, I had one or two panic attacks on the pitch. Mm. Literally, you're taking yeah. a heart attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Jesus. but... you scary little things, aren't Yeah, well, no one knows that. I'm only telling you here today, but Pierre never Pierre never opened his mouth about it or anything. He just said, I'd give him the, the nod and he, yeah, he took yeah. me off. You so it didn't go great. Yeah, yeah. It didn't go great for me down talk at all. I just was in a bad, bad place at the time. And uh, yeah, Pierre and Aim were, were great to me down there. And as I said, I'd play and if I'd give them the nod, they'd know what the what the story was. Yeah. So what do you talk about an enemy day in mm, play? Mm. So a bit of a hitting the bar kind of all the time with Tolga, and then yeah. you you scouted off over the Crumlin then, didn't you? Have a, a few games yeah. into the season. Yeah. You were, you, you yeah, were doing the time, yeah, come here, listen, Martin, everyone was always on to me about going back over, and um, uh, I said, I'll give it a go, I'll just go back over, and, you know, I loved it over there, I just think, at over there, when I went over there at that, that time, you'd know, it. there was a few young lads coming through, and there was senior players there, and it looked like it was going to be great, but just, it didn't, it didn't happen that year at all, it, with Crumlin, I didn't think, it never looked like we were going to go win the league, I didn't think, but, um, yeah, James Lee is there now doing, doing a good job and I was looking there the other day, they're a very young side, aren't they? Mm, very, very young, young yeah. side. They're being ravaged with injuries as well. I think they had about 10, 11 injuries at one time yeah, this but year. Yeah, like, listen. Getting players back now. The, four, the first year uh, I went to Crumlin, what was that, 2010? 2010 going to Crumlin. That has, like that goes down as my best season ever. Like yeah. that was someone said that as well. Like, that you're, you're untouchable that year. That you yeah, came it was mad. Like, yeah. I don't know what it was. Like, I just, I just felt so comfortable. Like, you know when you know you're going up to play and you know you're going to play you're doing well it's just I, I was starting hat-tricks like two goals every week it was crazy like I, I don't know Martin would be able to tell you um, many goals I got but it was like 40 something mm. it was 40 something goals which was an unbelievable season for me was your own confidence or was it the culture of the club or the, as Al said before no, it was, it was, it was like a family it, or yeah it was I was, was unbelievable the, everything the, was it just, the team just everything just clicked that yeah. year the team we had everyone got on great Martin rotated the team unbelievable that year he's um, good at that he was Martin, great at it good, really good at it Martin's so quiet like you just, he doesn't say much about he would he'd, he'd pull the odd player and tell them yeah, you're not going to play this week but like it was me, Jerry Bambrick and Tony Griffiths at the time playing up front. And I have to say, I have to give a shout out to Tony because Tony would have got me more than half of them goals. He would have assisted yeah. more than half of them goals. He played the number 10, he played up front. And he's, he's Tony, just behind you all Tony, the time. The great thing is about Tony, Tony is, um, see with strikers, you play a two up top, it's like a battle between each other. I'm going to score, you're going to score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get more goals than you. Tony didn't care. Tony didn't care like if he wanted to score but he didn't care if he didn't score if you were in a better position 100% Tony was giving you the mm -hmm. ball and that year he just kept putting me in the right position and I just kept scoring everything I hit was just going in <laughs> yeah. like yeah. honestly <laughs> I was hitting balls going mm -hmm. I'd never hit the ball with my left foot like this and it was just, <laughs> it was just going, going in, in yeah. and then it was balls hitting off me going in and all it was just an unbelievable yeah. season because well, I, I remember what it was when you were down at uh, when we went down to Talca Force me and Crocker would have just signed that year and you were there 
but you could tell by it, you're kind of like, it was like you wanted a change or needed a change. It was like, it was, you know, you weren't winning much at all, yeah. but you were probably there a little bit too long and knew what I'm saying. Like crumbling you, more after you. I had teams, you know, ringing me all the time and all. And listen, the big, a big pull is like, and Jay, I tell you himself, Jay knew, you go and play the Lenser Senior League team and the manager is the Lens, uh, Martin was the Lenser Senior League manager. And to be honest with you, Martin never approached me. Uh, like he did want, he said he wanted me, but he never, he get the lads, like Danny Lockham was in my year non-stop about signing and all. And then you're at Tog and I just, we were just there about, we, we came second, I think, twice in the league. We won the Charlie Cattle, we were there and there about all the time. It just wasn't happening for me. And it did, people get in your ear and you start thinking other ways and all. And then I said, go on, I'm going to give it a go. Fairness, Look what happened after mm. I, I kicked that year, on. That year, wasn't it? I kicked that on from... won everything. Yeah, we won everything. Yeah. We won the three cups, the league. I got player of the year. I scored the most goals I ever scored in a, in a one season. Um, and I got a move. I, I went away from it. It was a bit scary going over on your own, though, just because you only went over on your own. No one else went with you, though. It kinda, a lot of players would go in, in pairs when they're going to their teams. Yeah. Or, but, Oldham, Dino, wasn't he? He went to Oldham. No, I mean, going over to Scrum. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, sorry. going to Scrum, I mean, yeah, like, the Crumlin, yeah so. but the thing was, I, I you probably was, played with Oldham in the, the Lenzer Senior League. I was on the Lenzer Senior League with Danny, Pauly, uh, McCabe. McCabe, and we were on the Irish International the so we kind of knew the boys and anyway, so I knew yeah. them so they were yeah. on, Danny was on my case all the time in the, in the amateurs they were coming over and they were the top and I knew them well, and I got, on great, I got on great with the lads I literally got on great with them so it was it was comfortable going over it's just getting over there was a bit of a nightmare I actually yeah. ended up buying a, a, a moped a moped yeah I used to drive over through town yeah to get the train and say we trained at half seven you're driving through town it was packed the M50 packed so I just bought a moped. It took me 15, 10, 15 minutes it, yeah. through the city, and that was it. Yeah, Do you know Kelly on the phone. He used to laugh at me. I used to <laughs> hold the moped. Up. <laughs> nah, yeah. Yeah. Brilliant, yeah. So it, what happened then after that first year? Then, did you go? Did you stay there for another year, no, or what? You went? No, I was just only, only doing a year with Crumlin. Obviously, I would have stayed, mm. but uh, I was playing for the amateurs, and was, people were saying there was teams watching me. I think like Sheffield Wednesday and Sheffield United were at, at the games, and people were saying they're going to be watching you. And then after that, like we got a shout about Oldham. I think uh, somebody in Crumlin must have knew somebody. I think they knew uh, what's the system manager's name? Jerry Taggart of the Oldham. He was a Nord Norwich. Somebody knew him. And anyways, and said he would get him over on trial. So I went over on trial with Oldham at the end of the year. Martin came over. Fair play went to Martin. Which Martin, Martin, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Martin and yeah, Martin and I think he went, I think Tony said he went to when Tony went to Blackpool. I think Martin went yeah. over with him as well. Yeah, yeah. he's great. Martin went with me dad. And Martin doesn't drink or anything. And he went, didn't went going over. Mm -hmm. And now your fucking dad doesn't anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he went over and anyways. And uh, we played Burnley. Burnley were in the Premiership at the time. And it's this pre-season, is it? Pre-season. Yeah. And it was like two, three weeks before the league started. Like right. they were in pre-season. Yeah. And we played Burnley and um, at home. In the Oldham, and uh, he started. He said, "You're starting." And I had, do you know what the bad thing Who's was? Who's the manager there again? Paul, Paul Dickoff. Dick yeah, yeah. So he says, "You're starting," and I was like, "Gee, I thought I'd come on." Do you know what I mean? For ten minutes or so. Four, four time over. Four time over. Yeah, you're starting. starting. <laughs> there was bleeding. Probably the ten thousand people at the game. And um, he said, "You're starting." About Fifteen minutes in, I was playing well. I kept getting onto the right hand side, and I was because I was quick, and I was flying down the right hand side. And, Next minute, he heard him say, well, get, up, get bleeding up front, you're a centre forward. So I got up front, 15 minutes in, I get to put through one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And remember the keeper, uh, they used to call him, uh, what was his name? He had a mad nickname, the Savage or something like that. He was a big, huge, blonde fella. I think, I can't remember Arthur his name. Only. Yeah, he was a beast. The beast, they called him. Right. The beast. And anyways, and I got one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. I went around him and tapped him in with the left foot, one nil up. Half time, he took me off one nil up and said, there's the papers you're signing. Sign. Did he, yeah. And happened all that quick. Happened that quick. Yeah, he yeah, said, he 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 said, he
and I signed there and then. Did you? Yeah, yeah straight, straight, straight away. away yeah. Because I remember, I remember it kind of hearing, oh, Dino's going over. We were like, what? And then knowing you went over on the trial and then hearing when you signed, we were like, fucking hell. Well, the, the bad thing was as well, that people were like, well, you scored against Burnley and all. Like, I, didn't, I, seen, I knew you were playing and I didn't see your name and all. Because goes because in there as I, a it wasn't a meant to, was a banger. Or oh, something it was a banger. Is it, yeah. You weren't allowed to play. Yeah. So some fella that played in the reserves, they gave me his name. I can't even yeah. remember the name they gave so, me. So it happens in Sunday League football. And I scored, it was a good goal. I scored and I was like, and I went back, I was staying in a the, in the house. So me and my dad and uh, my aunt went back to the house. Sky Sports News and there I am on Sky Sports News going around them. Scored the goal and if you say your man, no. like, oh, fuck's sake, this is a joke. <laughs> what's, <laughs> rip that contract yeah. up. what's the process then after that? So you signed, you went back to the, the digs. Is it home? I didn't even go home. Stayed? Didn't even go home, I don't think. Yeah, I just stayed, went down, got a pair of football boots, got me set, stuff sent over. And because uh, it was pre season, so yeah. he said to me, Listen, you're going to be, you need to be miles behind the yeah. fitness. Mm -hmm. And I was like, No chance. Like, oh, you've got you know, out running. Yeah. And I said, I'm fit, like, I should be all right. Like, Different not, different levels, is yeah, it? Oh my god! Yeah. These We're, lads were t just say two laps ahead of you and everything, sprints, everything. Yeah. Be two laps ahead of you. So it did. It took me. It took me a month. You even there, even though, when we it? started the games, the first games, I was. Uh, I wasn't up to speed, like still. I remember talking in around that time. No, to probably through Texas or whatever, like, and be saying like, "How are you getting on?" Oh yeah, loving the blah. But I remember you even saying them. Because I'm not used to full full time I mean, training. Legs were gone. You start, yeah, you start legs pulling groins. I was, all was the going, time on, I was going on. It was in a tr like like uh, houses here in Finglas. It's in a three bed house. It was actually Dennis Irwin's house. It was he. Uh, I think he owned it and we gave it back to the club right. for for players. Yeah, yeah, very good for trials and stuff like that. And uh, I used to go back after training and I have to go over to the, to the pub and get ice into the bat, hot bat. And you, you're over there and you're over there, you don't want to go, listen, I'm feeling me growing, I'm doing this. And I was pushing myself through and I was just making myself worse. Yeah. I was on the bench a few times, like saying, I hope I don't come on because yeah. I was, my groin was gone. Like. So you're going from an amateur football to training twice a week to just going straight oh, into full time so football. You, it was, you were going in Monday, you're going in, you would have been, uh, say, nine o'clock in the gym. And I mean, the proper gym workout, legs, everything. I'd say about 12. About 12 o'clock out on the pitch then for two hours and you're flat out for mm. two hours. So your body needs some to climb to us. So these lads so probably doing it, was, it for so it many like years. Gym, yeah. It was like the gym Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and then the closer you got to the match then it was just out on the pitch. Oh, and the gym, gym stuff had stopped then. Yeah. But after a while the, the gym stuff does work because you start feeling your legs getting stronger and stuff like that. So then after a while I was flying in the reserve games. Any reserve game I played. I scored in every reserve game I played. But never, I only got one start the rest of it was, was just coming on. He just, he's saying it was coming on for a half. Now, well, he was bringing me the first team, did you? Yeah, he was bringing, mm. it, it was, that was in the FA Cup against, uh, who was it? Well, I come into my head in a minute who it was, but, it, you know, it, what's his name? Cliffy used to play for them. Cliffy Bourne, mm. Scuntorp. Scuntorp. Mm. Cliffy marked me. Mm. And uh, played well in that. And I was like, we're going to play, going to play in the league next week. But what happens is, a league won. So they get a chance to get players from, League uh, Championship Premiership to get them on, on loan oh. and to make contracts uh, it just went pear shape for me because they got a strike of Omar Tungar or something his name was a big black lad from France yeah he played for Sunderland and they told me straight out oh, you're going to play if if he played Sunderland played his wages if he didn't play all of them had to pay as well. Right. So it's in their interest. Yeah, he hadn't got the deal? money. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. probably like he was probably on four or six grand a week, yeah, not more. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're not, you're not, all of them hadn't got it. Yeah. So they played him every week, and he some weeks he go weeks without scoring. I was getting twenty minutes, half an hour every week, but because I was quick, I always got put on the left wing, right wing, and it was frustrating me, you know, because yeah. I was just so they the score goals, score. Yeah, 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 yeah. Play yeah. up front, like, and that's it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But yeah, that's the way it went. The levels was though, do you think you were fired off or do think you were you're, you're well able for it? Or what? Well, yeah, no, I thought I was able for it because, uh, like, listen, he, he, when I was leaving, Rovers were on, me, Michael O'Neill came over to watch a few games and he was mad to sign me with Rovers. And so that sort in your head when I got home and it was the same sort of money I was going to be getting in England mm -hmm. as a home. And uh, Michael O'Neill was on to me and I just, I said, I'm, I'm going to go. He, Paul Dickoff came to me, he told me I was straight, he was a lovely fella. Madman, but lovely fella. And he, <laughs> he turned around and said to me, I want to keep you. 
I could have stayed for another year. Like, there's a year contract there, but you're going to be on the bench. <laughs> you're not going to play. What's the point in saying that to you? Then, I, I was sitting, you go home. But that's professional football, isn't it? Like, he probably. Yeah, like, but when, people, what's his chances then of, of get, becoming a starter? If, you, if he's telling them he's going to be on the bench, we're going to have these lads. He mm. had to play him because we haven't got the money to put him on the bench. So he's going to say, well, I'm a backup player then. Of course, so he, yeah. he's going to stop his progress then. But that's what I mean. It's, yeah. profe it's professional football. When you look at every other team, that's ruthless. it's going right, it's ruthless. right through to the top. It probably doesn't happen a little bit lower down the league because people say, "Oh fuck this, I'm not hanging around." But when you think about all the the the, the squad players and over all the yeah. years, like people were like because they're getting paid to play football and they're happy to be like a bit part player or oh, I'm going to be I'm going to be a sub here I'll just come on every 20 minutes and, and well, still the get paid thing, the worst thing about it is when you're that's out there that's what <laughs> but the thing about when you're out there and you're, you're a sub or whatever I mean a professional level yeah no, no like, only yeah. only. so you're a sub you're, you're going home after the match on your own mm. what do you do? that was my next question what's what the lifestyle like? like? Oh, the, the, the house I was living in was right beside the, the ground mm. Training pitch around the corner. You, you didn't have anything to do. Yeah. You're at being in the gym already. So you're not going to go right and go in the gym. And if you're sucking with the groins as well, you're not going to go to the gym again. Recuperate. So like. it, does, it does get like, um, back then, like a big one of the biggest regrets is like drinking. I, I would have gone for a drink. I would have gone for a drink in that. Was it, a little, was it lonely at all? Did you feel lonely over there at that's, all? That's what, yeah, well, you know what I'm like, Barry. I, I, Go off, make friends. Yeah, anyway. it's so your easy. I made, yeah. I made mates with the lads off the team and all, but a lot of them lived in the in man uh, the city, mm. and uh, like it was great. Our all it was it's, Man it's Manchester, Manchester. But it's greater Manchester. So it was about twenty five minute drive into the city. I used to go into the city a lot, walk around, do a bit of shopping or whatever. There, there be people staying in the house with me sometimes, trialists and all that. So you get chat with them, you do stuff with them, bring them around, go for a bit of grub with them and all that. Well, once you go for your bit of grow, you're back in the house watching yeah, telly. Yeah, yeah. Was the, did you have your own little fan club over there, did you? I think Jay was telling me. Yes, Jay. I knew Jay would tell you something. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll give you a good uh, funny story. So, you know Keith Mar, obviously Marzi, great, <clears throat> great player with Talk Rose and that. So, he he jumped on the bandwagon yeah, over every there, second yeah, week. Yeah. Well, he was missing Talk Rose because of it and all. But I'll tell you why he was over there. <laughs> He's, no, no. he's over there because he was buying all the shit. Oh, the gear. Yeah, he used to sell all <laughs> the gear, didn't he? So he used to get it in Manchester and uh, he used to stay with me. And he, he's not messing, the back room be full of me, <laughs> clothes and all. And he'd get them shipped back. But then he was, uh, Marzi. So I remember him trying to sell me a barber jacket at 200 quid and I was looking yeah. at it and I was saying, that's so, the yeah, I think. We, went, we used to go back to this pub just across the, the road after the games and all the fans used to go back. But there was these few girls and... Uh, they were, they were mad and dads, but they were 17, 18 and all, and they'd be always over bleeding, you know, talking to me and whatever. And uh, I went to the toilet and I came back, and Marzi and his mate were laughing. So I didn't know what they were laughing at. So we, uh, next day, went in for a warm down we did just out under the pitch, and I went out, got my bag out, and my boots, my shin guards, all gone. Marzi was at the soil in the, the boots, <laughs> Dean Kelly, and getting to the, the shin guards is a day is gone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally had no boots the next day. <laughs> Trying to explain that to yeah. the camera, what? Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. It's some, uh, great times with Marzi over there. Good day, good yeah. times, I'd say. Yeah. 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 Good nights out and all, even yeah. with the crew and yeah, the, yeah. the team and all, yeah. Definitely. This episode is brought to you by Eco Pro Power Flushing. Is your heating system not working as efficiently as it used to? If so, then it might be time that you get yourself an EcoPro Power Flush. EcoPro are one of the most trusted experts in power flushing and also offer other services such as boiler fitting, lime scale removal, and reverse osmosis. They'll rid your system of any sludge, rust, or debris and will have your home heating system working to its full capacity. For a warmer home, call on. 085-831-6372 or contact them via Instagram or Facebook at EcoPro underscore Power Flushing. Uh, so Bucker came over and joined the Happy Tour, did he? Bucker came over, he never signed in the end. He, he came over and he was on trial for, um, geez, he must have been there for a month and a half or something like that. To a man. Hold him to he, yeah, yeah. And he wanted to sign him, but as I said, I don't think he had the money <clears throat> and he was flying in the training. This is when Bucket was at his mm. best. He was flying, Bucket was. Bucket was, would have been only, I well, was 25. Bucket would have been Younger. 20, yeah. even 21. And he was flying, but he was he was mad. Like, we don't, 
when he came over, that was when I was coming to the end of it as well. So we, were, we were going drinking together. Yeah, I had enough we were going drinking yeah. together. And like, it's a big regret that is like, going, the only, like, I should have just knocked the drink on the head for the time when I was just playing. You know, even for like the time I went to the League of Ireland, probably six, seven years, I should have just knocked the drink on the head completely. I'd always be ready for games. But I'd, I'd, I'd drink after the games heavy and I'd be dying before, on Monday. Yeah, like the I'd week be, before or I, something. I, I, I wouldn't train well on the Monday or Tuesday. So dying, and yeah. then because I'd be, I'd be fucked, like I'd be hung over, like still. I'd get three day hangovers. But yeah, it's a big regret. But like we don't jump some mad stuff out. We went out one night, just say it was a Tuesday or something. Can you remember Warden Feeney? He was a uh, North Norwich International. Warden was, he was like a starter for North Norwich, like centre forward. And uh, we went out and, you know, we go over three drinks, we ended up leading whatever amount of drinks. <laughs> three days. So, yeah. we're going I got from milk and the house to milk. You know what it was? It was, it was, the matches were called off, it was over the Christmas, some of the matches were called off. Greater Manchester, we lash and snow. So the matches were called off, we went with a drink and they said, come on, we go back to Warden's house. And I said, oh, drop me off at the, at mine. Lucky enough we got dropped because we had trained the next day. Drop me off at mine. They drove the bucket, comes back about half an hour later. I didn't like, believe what happened. The bleeding police swung around when I got out and went after them in the, in the car. They went, they flew up the road and it was slashing snow. They went through a roundabout, in through the front of someone's house, like into the garden. Crashed? Crashed in the next five, through the garden. And the next day, Bocca flies back to me and I'll tell the story. I says, oh, thank God. Thank God you want that, yeah. So anyways, me and Bocca goes training next day, no sign of Warden Feeney because... When he crashed, he said, ah, you had to stay. Yeah, yeah. So Paul Dickoff comes in the train next day. Right, lads, I have to let you know something, just in case there's anything in the papers. Uh, Warden's after me and caught drink driving. And uh, me and Buck are bleeding, looking at each other. Because so he said, does he not? But fair play to Warden. Warden said that. nothing. He got arrested and all. Bocker just came home and <laughs> came back to me. <laughs> back I, I couldn't believe it was mad, but yeah, Warden took the took the hit took for the, the three of us. Yeah, come on, Warden. Man. Luckily, yeah. you weren't in the fucking yeah. thing. Yeah, oh, thank God. But yeah, that's Sick. that's when I was coming to the end. When you know, like, what am I doing? Like, this is stupid stuff going on. Did you sign a one year contract? Yeah, yeah. one year contract, and I cut a short by I don't know a couple of months or something like that, and I just went back because Ro Rovers were. Onto me, and I knew I, when you know you're something good at home, mm. it's it was easy, and it's home, it then, was easy, it? Yeah. it was easy just to go right. I'm going because I, know, I had a fella uh, looking at me, like he said, an agent, but he, he was a friend as well. But uh, Paul Hammond, Hammond, do you know Hammond? No, he was involved with Crumlin at the time over there, but he was he was over with me, and uh, there was one or two teams I could have gone to. So there was a team, a local team to all them around the corner, uh, Rochdale, they were in the same league. And they were interested, but the, the Shamrock Rovers, I think I was getting more money mm. Rovers than I was over there. So Is the money that, is it poor when you go down the leagues when I get out of the championship and down the league one? Yeah, like, not yeah. Poor well, it depends. As I said, there's certain players that are, would have played championship level and all that will get better money yeah, than, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, I'll be honest with you, I was getting nearly a grand a week. Like mm. that's It's just like a wage. Yeah, like, yeah. You could be an electrician to get that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Uh, yeah, I was happy to go home with the Rovers. Listen, Rovers, Rovers were after winning the league. I was after being doing, I think I'd done about two weeks training with them before I went over to Oldham. And I was like, felt comfortable. Mm. You know, and then Bocca was there. Bocca, Bocca was there. Bocca, was Bocca still there? He was on trial. No, Bocca was just out of leaving Rovers, but he was training with Rovers as well when he came over. And I knew Pat Sullivan was, we were talking about Mary, was with, uh, they played in the Ireland final with us. Against yeah. us, yeah, yeah. Joey's. Joey's, he was with Rovers, and uh, so I knew a few of them. And I was after doing the two weeks training, and I was great, loved it, and I felt comfortable. I felt like I was at that so you level. Knew what you were going back to, yeah. yeah. And then I was after being with all them and got me standards up, and I got me like my fitness was out off the charts. Then I was, you know, I was after catching up with the fitness. Went back to Rovers then, and I just that was it. Full time at Rovers, it. full time, full time. But it was great. It was full time where so I took a career break from. Dublin City Council That's right, yeah, I remember that. to go to Oldham and when I came back I just I remember my dad saying it, where would you get it who takes a career break that's the car <laughs> yeah, yeah. but you were great they were, they were great to me yeah, I remember yeah, I he's still on the career break the <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they, they were great because I, I rang them up and when I rang them up they just said yeah we heard your sign we're always uh, your job is still there That I think two weeks, two weeks later I, yeah. I started back with them Did you, yeah. yeah because I tell you why because uh 
I went back because I was overtrained at three o'clock in the day at that time. It was full time, but it was three o'clock in the day. You're going to give people a chance there to have a job then. So yeah, we could yeah. still have a job. Because yeah. there was more than half of it, the Rovers team working at the time. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah that, that worked out great. That's good, yeah. So you, you kicked on with Rovers then, didn't you? you well, I, I wouldn't say kicked on because that, that year, I'd, I'd, done, I'd done all right. Like, I, was, I was more soft that year in 2011. Is that the way you oh. came out the bench and scored a win against UCD? For yeah, the, 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 the sec, second that. last yeah. game of the season. To win the league, was to win it? The league, to win yeah. the league, yeah. It was, that was probably one of the best feelings. Well, I was watching it on, uh, it was on telly, it was on the RTE. I remember it. It was a pity it was in UCD. Ball, I'm not yeah. being bad on them, but, like, but it was small ground. It was yeah. the smallest ground in the league at the time. Anywhere else, there probably would have been 10,000 people. It would have yeah. been sold out. And we played in UCD, but still, it was great. It was around Halloween time because I remember the rockets and all going off yeah. and they scored and stuff like that. About a thousand people jumped on me back, <laughs> ran on the pitch. It was literally 90 something minutes, yeah. like, and the game was over. Literally took the tip off, played 30 seconds, and he blew the whistle. Say so something that was it. I was probably the best feeling in football I've had, you know, to come on and score. But I was, the thing was, is I was on the line. So it was, it was between me and Gary O'Neill yeah. to be brought on. Two was from the same year. And to be honest with you, Gar, <laughs> Gar was more of a holding, like he'd hold the ball up, as it? He wasn't, he wouldn't score loads of goals, Gar. Mm. Now, not that Lloyd, not that Lloyd did score loads of goals yeah. in the League of Ireland, what, what do you call it? The, Mike O'Neill, the assistant there, Jimmy Gilton at the time was there, and I was in the James' ear the whole day before saying, Jim, I was only had to come back from a little groin injury. And he put me on the bench and I said, Jim, I'm telling you, get me on that pitch, get me on that pitch. Yeah. If, I, if the game is close, get me on, get me on. And he was, who's starting up front, Dean? Who's keeping you out Twiggy, Twiggy. Twiggy. So I, I wouldn't have gone on that day only for Jimmy yeah. Jim. Yeah. And Jimmy Jim was suspended, he was. He was on the sideline and he was ringing back and forward. Mike, him and Michael O'Neill were ringing each other back and forward. And well, was Michael O'Neill not on the sideline? Michael O'Neill was on the well, sideline, but Jimmy Jim was. So he was ringing each other. So Jimmy Jim... Like, told me, well, get Dane on, get Dane on. I only came on for 15 minutes or something like that. I think I probably only touched the ball like four or five times. Now, the ball, someone cro tried to uh, take a shot. Steve O'Donnell was, tried to take a shot, and I just ricocheted it off someone. And it just came straight across me. I, like, it came a power, like. But there was a fella on the line, and it was just literally a foot beside him to get it in. And I just banged it and I literally just crawled in, like hit the bar and went in. Like a, an inch over to the right, it was hitting the bar and coming back yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah. And I was lucky enough I went in, but the celebrations were, were crazy. I, knew, I honestly thought I was going to die. It was about... The whole team jumped on me, but then all the fans, because yeah, the game was over, yeah, yeah, yeah. all the fans just thought, wait, that's yeah. it, it's over, and ran onto the pitch. Sure, it took about five minutes for it to kick yeah, back yeah. off. Mm, fuck's sake. Brilliant. Yeah, it was brilliant. And through through that, Dino, so we probably go back a little bit. Like you didn't, did you not play too much through that leading up to that? No, the last couple of no, games, no, no, I was just kind of no, I didn't, on. I didn't. You know, I was honest as that. I didn't, mm. I didn't, I didn't. I came, I was coming on mm. every week, and I was, you know what, I was loving it. Yeah, I was yeah, loving being there because you knew you, were, you should be winning the league. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? You're gonna get a medal. I came on. I was playing all the cup games. Like I, every cup, I scored in every cup game I played in. Mm. Um, we think we won the Satanta Cup that year. We got beaten. Oh, we got beaten in the semi finals of the FUI. So we just won the league and the Santa Cup that year. But uh, I played right through the Santa Cup and I scored. I think it was four rounds or something like that. And I scored in the, the three rounds up to it. I didn't score in the final. Mm. And I scored in the three rounds up to it. So I've done well. Like. Yeah, yeah. Well, as I said, like, it was a good as spell. Said, like, I keep saying that. And you would have noticed over the year. You just know it was quick. Like I was a mm -hmm. flyer, but what you call it? Every, every manager seen that. And every team I went, I always had good strikers. So they say, they can play on the left, they yeah, can play on the right. Yeah. Now I didn't mind, and I worked hard. So the probably went against you. Sometimes. They did go against yeah, me, but yeah. after after a while, it just goes right. I'm playing League of Ireland here. I'm gonna play anywhere. Can yeah, just deal and with it. Just deal with it, and just when I played, like the second time I went to Rovers, uh, like I saw him back. I left Rovers and went back, and the second time I saw him back, I played a lot more, but. Uh, yeah, I played. A, I would have played in front and on the wing then. But you just, you just don't care then. Yeah. You just, you're happy to be playing. Play, yeah. Where did you go? So oh, after, after Rovers, and it, this happened me. This happened me a few times. And people, it's gas. I remember the paper ringing me up and saying, "Listen, I want to put something in the paper. Do you mind just putting it in the paper?" I was like, "Why are you ringing me up and asking me? This must be." Now he said it's sort of a funny sketch we're gonna do, 
And I says, what is it? Do you know why we think the league is a merry-go-round like because players keep on moving? Yeah. But the reason I kept on moving was because of my job. Yeah. Because so the year 2011 when I won the league with Rovers, scored a winning goal. Like everyone was saying, he's going to sign you back. You have to score the winning goal. Now. But what, Michael O'Neill ended up leaving. Michael O'Neill ended up taking the North North shot. That's right, yeah. And I think it was, uh, what's his name? Stephen Kenny. Stephen Kenny came in. And before Stephen Kenny came in, there was a gap where they had no manager, so they were looking for a manager. And the club signed me back. The club signed me back. So the club signed me back, whereas, right, we're signing the game back, we're signing whatever players back, while we're waiting on a manager. And we're tra the train will be still three o'clock and all, yeah. everyone thought. Kenny comes in Kenny, and comes, Kenny comes in, changes everything, uh, comes to me and says, I want to keep you here. Can you take another career break from work? And I could have. And I'd probably regret that I didn't. But I turned around and said, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing it. Because mm. Pats were in for me and I shouldn't have gone to leading Pats. I hate Pats, but we, I had them coming in for me, better money. And then uh, I, I left because cause of work, work commitment. Because like, you're only going to, I was 25, the window there is only, like you're going to get six, seven years Max of your best Max, yet, right? Yeah. I'm going to work as well. I'm not, you're not going to be on thousands of yeah. pounds. So not gonna I wasn't leaving job. After yourself, so work. I looked at myself. I looked yeah. at God, a young family. I said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, stick the job out, and then whoever suits me, whatever team suits me, I'm gonna go there." The best advice I ever got was off um, Gary O'Neill. Gary O'Neill said to me, "I was nearly crying leaving over, so I was like, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave." Gary says to me, "I'm telling you now, when you go to another team, you're gonna make the same friends. It's gonna be the same dressing room. It's exactly, gonna be yeah. everyone's gonna be. You're gonna have the same crack. Don't be worrying about it." It was probably a bad thing guard at home because I went to too many teams then. But anyway, no, I, I did. I, I, I always kept that in my head what Gar said. Don't we win because I was upset like leaving. I didn't want to leave. And uh, but I went to Pats then. That you, went you, didn't, uh, you didn't get on with Buckley, did you? Well, no, Buckley didn't I got on, on with every with... manager and every player. I always got on with everyone with players. And I'd be honest, I, I didn't see eye to eye with Buckley at all. He was one of these, he's you know. He's meant to be a hard man to get on with, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's just one of these where he'd be pointing in your face and, you know, shouting and screaming. Like, that's grand. You can take it on the chin and all, but he took it to a new level with me one day. He didn't put me in the squad and uh, I was up in the stands and he, I don't know what his problem was, but he came up before the match kicked off and I don't know when I was meant to go do running or something. I went straight up to the stand, but the under-19s team was there and he came up and had a go at me in front of them. And I just said, listen, if you keep pointing your fingers at me, and we had a little bit of a back and forward. I won't tell you what I, what I said. He <laughs> told him where he'd stick to him. <laughs> yeah. We told him where he'd stick his fingers, but he, he, what, you, he what you call it, that was it then. Like, in fairness to him, he, he kept me uh, even after that, but he, he was he was bad to me. Yeah. He, he held back uh, bonuses of his due and stuff like that, and I just walked he in. He got you in the long we, run. Like, like, that's, and it was horrible because uh, the one thing I wanted to win, because I won, won nearly everything, and the one thing I didn't win was the FEI. And we got in the final that year, and I... I didn't turn up to the game. Did you not? Know? No, no, no. Well, no. He wasn't putting me in the squad. No, no, he wasn't putting me in the squad. He was, he was, he was making an example down me. So mm. I just said, I'm not going there to be made a fool of. And because I never had a manager treat me like that, and he treated me like shit. To be honest with you, holding back money and all on me like. No, it's not. Really. I ended up going to like four. I got the he money. He definitely the held it against you. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Probably, he he kept saying it. He knew he hadn't got anyone else there, so he kept me there in case anyone got injured. And I did, people did get injured, and I played. Yeah. I ended up coming back, and he rang me up. Come back, come back. Everything's forgotten about. And I went back, and I played. Now, soon as people were back fit, like Christy Fagan was there. Christy was brilliant for mm. for Pats. And soon as he got back fit, and all, I was back back on the bench and all. Never back in the stand, and he kept me on the bench and all. I just put my head down then. But then I got to the end of the season where he was just taking the piss out of me. You know, he was just using me. So I just, the FAO Cup final, they won it, and I didn't I didn't yeah. go. Shame. They, and one of the lads got me medal and all, and I just said, I'm not taking it, I don't yeah, want it. Yeah. So I did really win it, but yeah. I didn't. In the yeah, end, in your own mind, though, you didn't. You didn't, yeah, because you, you didn't play the final, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You be like, if, you don't, if you don't play the final, and no. you're, you're, like, you're, you're, you're probably at the, even if you build up to play in a few games before, and then, they win and you didn't yeah. play in the final. It'd be hard, wouldn't it? To... No, I'd be wrong. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take take medals. I said, Do you know what? I don't even have many medals left because of, yeah. Jay, I tell you, when I play for talk, I play for anyone. Martin, I tell you this as well. The kids and all that were at the, the games or whoever. I oh, always gave me stuff away. Very good. Everybody. Mm. Track that's suits, a, everybody. That's good memories for them, though, is it the young kids, you know? Yeah, look, I, got, mm. I only went on Instagram recently for, for work and stuff like that. And uh, I've had people text me, like, 
still has a medal and all. Thanks very much and all. That's brilliant. Yeah, kids like that. Yeah, can yeah. have a back place. Started at twenty. Started at twenty. Now, yeah, well, yeah I gave a good bit of stuff away. Like I have me, I wouldn't give me uh, my league medal for overs away. You know, I wouldn't give that away. I have that frame. You worked hard enough for that. I have a frame yeah. the jersey, so I'll be keeping that one. Mm. So what's the next step there? Where we? Um, well, from, from, from Pat's, it? from Pat's, I went to. I think it was uh, Bowes. Bowes, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I t- t- was doing all right at, at Bowes. And oh, no, I wasn't Bowes, Shells. Shells, was it? Was Shells, sorry, it was Shells. I went to. I probably had my best individual, I probably had my best season for Shells. I think I scored like nine, ten league goals and nine goals in the Cups. But we got relegated. So it was my worst season, really. It would be best season individually. Boys, yeah. yeah. And, uh, do you know what I regret not? I should have probably uh, stayed with them. But because I was after Neil so well scoring goals and all, a few teams wanted me. And when they went down, they, at the time, Shells were, were struggling big time. Like, struggling big time. So I, I, I went, who would I go to then? I think I went to Pats then, yeah. And I went back to Rovers. I went back to Rovers yeah. in 2004. So I got relegated in 2013 with Shells. And then went uh, back to Rovers in 2014. So it was a good year, obviously, they were like, like get Dino back. Get Dino back, back yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, this is the thing, I never was meant to leave Rovers because mm. it, I left because of work. Because of the times. But Rovers were going through, like, Mike, and he was an unbelievable manager and Rovers, when he left, he just couldn't settle a manager. Like, Stephen Kenny didn't last a year. Mm. I think he lasted half a season. Yeah, what was yeah. he like then, uh, the, the little small... Uh, Stephen? Yeah. Stephen was good. Small time he had with him. Yeah, he was good. He was a bit strange, but he was good. Like, go around kicking the bags in, you know, and lads be pushing the bags back out and he'd be kicking <laughs> them back in again doing circles in the dressing room. But Just a bit OCD there or something. He was, so, you know? I, remember, I remember doing a strike, a strike, we were training up in the, the AOL at the time on the main, or not the main pitch, one of the back pitches, no way, do you have the, the trees going around? Yeah. And we were doing a striking drill and he was hiding in the bush, he came out of the bush, like, he was hiding <laughs> in the bush, he comes out of the bush, like, I'm like, watching this. He was, yeah, he was mad. He, he, I think he's very good with young players. I think when, when he came to Rovers, there was a lot of players, Twig and Seves, and there was a, lot, a few English and Scottish lads there, and they were big characters, and he was he was very good at, with young lads, but the, all, the older lads, the they, were, they were looking at going at that time, but I think Twiggy went to Porter down and stuff like that, but the, the lads, uh, yeah, were messing about with him and stuff like that, and he it just didn't work out for him. When respect wasn't there, because he's No, he, and this is what I'm ways. saying, like when he went to Dundalk then, he had a number label. Yeah. 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 But they were all young lads, mm. and he was brilliant with the younger lads. Mm. The senior lads, I didn't think he was too good with. Mm. So you got back in Rovers then, who's the manager there then? Who'd you go back to? Uh, Trevor Crawley. So yeah. Trevor Crawley, I got out, and, and Trevor was at, was at uh, Pats, he was the coach at Pats, and he loved me. And he was with uh, Buckley, and he's seen all the stuff going on and on. I, I think he, he showed me a bit of respect. He knew what was going on. But yeah, I went up. I didn't just didn't just sign. I, I went up. I was with Shell and I went up and I trained with Rovers Force. I didn't just sign. I went up and I had to show him that I was still still able to do it and still in good shape and all. And yeah, he signed me then. I ended up having a good season for, for Trevor. Yeah. Ended up doing well. He, he, he was playing me. He actually played a lot of games that year for Trevor, but it didn't it didn't go well for Trevor. He ended up leaving at the end of the season then. What did you do then? Did you stay there? He says, this, 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 this one talking about the amount of teams. I mean, <laughs> um, from Rovers. <clears throat> did you go back then to the scene then? Or no. Did you hang about the no, we went to the, uh, that's when I went to Bowes. Was it? That's when I went yeah. to Bowes. I went to Bowes after that. And uh, Bowes didn't work out great. Oh, yeah. We were training and I ended up, the, one of the players, left back, kept smashing the ball. Now, when you do them five or side games, and the keeper just rolls out, keeper's rolling out to the left back, and he just kept smashing it, smashing it, smashing it. So he was losing the head. We're like, come on, just pass the fucking ball, give it to someone else, you know. Like, and he kept smashing. And it was a cold day. He smashed it, smashed me, smashed me straight in the face with the ball. So I said, he was a redhead, really, a redheaded, whatever. And uh, he was Larkin Fitzgerald, remember Larkin Fitzgerald? So Larkin ran up to me and thrown the head on me and gave me a little tip of the head. So that didn't end well. For, for it's, you, it's, it's, you, it's usually you did. Yeah, this was yeah. you ahead. Didn't mean it end well for Logan, and I said. Yes, well, <laughs> I, I thrown I one or two punches and he, I, I cut him like, and that was it. That was, and I wouldn't mind, I was top goal scorer. I, the last two games before, I was going to get a man of the match. I think we were only 10 games in. I was flying 
and the manager manager was didn't even see it some people went and told him what happened and stuff like that and that was it he just said to me uh, like after you act on it like what did he say you know I thought, this I'm saying Larkin shone the head of me but when he shone the head of me I, I went mad then and it was just overboard you know like so he didn't get the bully you got the no, bully no he didn't I did and uh, released straight away yeah no I wasn't released I was there for a while and I wasn't going anywhere like I was staying I was but it wasn't he was he says you're not even gonna be in the squad now like yeah. so all the fans were like what what's going on he's being our best player and all and no one knew what was what the situation was no one said and and I wouldn't mind me and Larkin shook hands straight after it he shook hands and said forget about it but yeah. that was it the manager wasn't having it in any way but um still got on me um what's his name Keith Long he was the man Keith Long still got on great yeah. with Keith Long like I had him down in the recovery realm and stuff like that with boss Grand great from still, but he had, in fairness, he was only a new manager. He felt like he had to act on it, mm. and Stopped he did. Third, he did but, yeah. uh, so I waited till the uh, the window opened back up, and I went to Longford, and I played out the season with Longford. Hated it. What was but that? What's well. it like? Like see all the like go, going here, going there, going for the Rovers, going to the Pats, back to yeah, it's a merry go round. Yeah, like it's what, what did it feel like? Does it feel horrible. like going and going again? Or? No, it was horrible. Yeah, because. Like everyone's saying it then, oh Jesus, who are you with this yeah, year and all? But yeah. the thing is, I didn't even know you were going for a lot. Of, a lot of players go with the better, better contract. If you get a two year deal or you whatever, some people are only getting leading six month contract and mm. are getting buttons. Like, but if you're getting decent money, you're gonna you're gonna go for it and all because as I said, you're only doing it for six, seven good years or whatever. And uh, so yeah, I went to Longford. Don't know, right? Longford played out the season with them, and uh, that was it then with Longford because it was. You were training. You were, you were training league slips, so it wasn't too bad. Three times a week, and then down to Longford for the games or whatever. After that, then my last league of world team was uh, Bray. Actually, loved it in Bray. That's true, yeah. Bray was great, Bray, yeah. great, lovely pitch and great fans and stuff like that. And I played with Bray, and same thing again. I, Harry Kenny who signed back for the second season. And he'd only took over that year, yeah, didn't he? Took it yeah. over, and then I don't know what happened. They went to be pear shaped. With the club was the club a bit pear shaped. Them, they? They, yeah, they lost. I don't know. They lost a lot of money through. I don't know what investors and stuff like that. And someone pulled out or something. Yeah, like, yeah. The, someone came in. The, the person who came in wanted to torn the pitch around, and they wanted to build apartments or stuff like that. And they thought it was they were going to get the planning permission, and they didn't. And they left. Pulled out. So it all went pear shaped. So then I was I was coming to the end there of League of Ireland now. What old are you now at this stage, do you know? I'd say it was 23, mm. something like that. So I had uh, Brian Carter, he was a mate of mine. True football, I knew him, Brian, he's from Finglas. He's all now Brian, mm -hmm. Brian. And Brian had mocked us. Brian was on to me, listen, we're going to fight for the league, uh, mocked us. It's going to be the first year we're going to try and win it. They never won it before. And the way the season ended was... I only came back for the last 10 games of the Leinster Senior League. Right. So I signed for Moctis. And Brian said to me, I met him, and he said to me, he said, you're going to come in, and I'm telling you now, you're going to score whatever amount of goals. He said, you'll score, we have 10 games, if you score seven, eight goals, he said, we're going to win the league. And he said, we'll probably win the league by a few goals. It'll go down goal yeah, difference. Go, and it did go to the world. I was like, it? this fella's bleeding, must have a crystal ball. So <laughs> couldn't believe him. We, we, we went up and came down to the last, uh, game against uh, Wayside That's out right, there yeah. and we needed and Crumlin and Bluebell were playing yeah, as well Crumlin and Bluebell playing and we needed to to win and we needed to depending on Crumlin's game what score they uh, won or whatever we, we won the game we won the league with two goals and they scored uh, two did you, you in the, the last game yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, now we won I think we won 4-2 uh, or something like that but we, we, we scored two and we, we won the, the game but it was, that was great because it was the, the first time that mocked this won the the league like yeah for in the Lancer senior, top Lancer senior league and Brian was there for years and it's just to see his face and like Glenn Crow was there as assistant manager and uh, just the lads the lads came right through some of the lads came right through from like three leagues below to go to go and win the top league so it was great. What's the dressing room like from obviously the league of Orin and the, was there any difference to I know it's football and it's all all the same fucking mm. passion for it between the Lancer senior and the kind of League of Ireland would it be a difference in the dressing room at all would it be yeah I think the League of Ireland dressing rooms are probably a little bit quieter like, you know, is it yeah yeah, yeah you yeah, have yeah. the music on and whatever but people be sitting there people are all other lads are different like uh, what I know is in the League of Ireland a lot of lads have their routines and they have to stick, stick to their routines 
like even putting tape on the Roy socks right way before machine guards on the left leg forward. Super lads, like, Some yeah. lads you can see in a, in a uh, like a lukewarm bat just to loosen the legs up before games. And in Lancer Senior League, you lads are having the crack Bouncing talking in. about the weekend, what you're gonna do the weekend. And, what you done the weekend before? Look, when you're going to run the road and now you're going to do the night before. Did you feel when you went to the Moctis? Did you feel like ah oh, yeah, were you relaxed? Were you, like, yeah, see the way yeah, like, because you were going around. Like st- still playing now, but you feel you knew you were coming to the end of like professional. Mm. But yeah, when I went there, I never stepped back. I still worked hard. If I felt like I was unf- unfit, I'd stay back and do a few runs. And if I felt like other lads were unfit, I'd say to them, right, you let's stay back and. Do a few runs like I always grabbed there. Uh, can you remember like Simon Dixon? Dicko, yeah, Dicko yeah. was a good mate of mine, and uh, played him a few teams. But Mark this and Dicko, me and Dicko, always like always pull Dicko right. Dicko, come on, because he needed a little bit of run. And even after the, uh, even after games, if he didn't play, we me and him would go run stuff like that, and became good friends. But that's that's the great thing in Lancer Senior League. I've made lead so many friends. Even you, Barry, like you were friends since we were kids, but. You and over oh, Crumlin, we had a good little setup. Me and you over there in Crumlin. When I went to Mock, there's like Naila. Naila yeah. was Naila, me and Naila grew up together. We were mm. best friends growing Did up. You played with his brother, uh, played with Rovers. Like, yeah, played with Gar, yeah. Rovers. That's one of the funniest, funniest. Me- both of them are probably the funniest yeah, men I've ever met. Naila's Troy, and you're still mates with them to the day. And as I said, Naila was the one that said to me, "Listen, you're gonna make mates in the next team you go with. Just get your head down and." I, I, I always got on with every team I went there I don't think I had a bad yeah, word yeah you've always anybody. been good in dressing rooms yeah. and easy to get on with people and mm. it's no problem to you like isn't yeah. it for you dragging yeah, the dick up to it as well Jimmy and pushing people like, well, like, that's, I, that's I, a good professionalism I, I, I you're being down I have a habit when I go to a team if I see someone that's struggling a little bit even with weight I won't say some of them like, I, I'd say to them like, I'm going to do a few runs I wouldn't say to them you need to fucking lose weight but so that's, like, that's for them yeah, themselves but they not know, for the team they know yeah Come on, you need to do a bit of running, like yeah, fair play. If, to if you. lads aren't fit, you need to you need to put your head down and get fit. And if you're not going to make training, because a lot of people walk and can't make the training every Tuesday and Thursday, so if the pitch is free after a, a training session, and you can do a little bit extra, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why not? Well, yeah. This episode is brought to you by O'Connor's Cars. Don't let car troubles slow you down. Turn to the motor experts at O'Connor's Cars for fast and reliable service that gets you back on the road in no time. We all know the frustration of unexpected breakdowns. That's why their team are here to fix any issue, big or small, with precision and care. From engine tune-ups to brake repairs, transmission fixes to diagnostics, they do it all. For reliable motor repairs, call O'Connor's Cars on. 01834 or contact them via Instagram or Facebook at O'Connor's Cars. So how did it go then with, with Mark this day? You know, did, you, did you stay around and they get a few more trophies or yeah, what way did it go? Yeah, I stayed Mark for another, another, another season. Like, uh, I don't think we, we won that. And then did you only have two seasons with Mark this? Two, three seasons? Two seasons yeah. with Mark this, yeah. I'm proud to remember the how many years and all I did. But uh, where did I go with Mark this? I think I went back to Talca. That's when I went back to Talca after Mark this. And then uh, now when we're Kilmore, uh, yeah, the stint was out uh, crumbling. Came out was, was crumbling yeah, for yeah. yeah a year. We didn't win that that year, did no, we? No, no. Came second, I think, did we in yeah. the league or something? I love crumbling. I loved all the people out, out crumbling. Mm. That's 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 the main reason I went out there as well. It was the year James. we we were at the winning the league the year before and yeah. unbeaten and all, and it was a coin. You know, mm. the next how do you retain it? And it just didn't kind of kick on. Really, yeah, we lost no, a few games. We had good, we good players there, but. It just didn't. It didn't. It didn't kick on that year. And I, you can't, I actually can't even put a finger on, on why. I think there was a few young lads there, bit melty. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it didn't. It didn't kick on, and I don't know what the reasons are for that. But listen, it is where it is. We never touched on your international career now. So, um, how did you find it? Mm, forgot about that. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, it was great. I think I first first got called in when uh, I was at Talke. And uh, geez, I, I don't know all the games I played and all. I can't tell you all the teams and all I played because we played some of the games weren't, you know, you, you go over and you're playing Spain, but you aren't playing Spain, you're playing, you know. Team from Spain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the I played, played some great games, like, I played some great games, and I played in one of the tournaments and I done well. I think I scored against Belgium. And, but my first uh, 
three games, I got three hat tricks. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, I started off like a house on fire. I've more goals than I have games in the amateurs. Right. Yeah. What you call it? The key band. Do you have any like? Did you did you use that like as a What's the kind of word I'm looking for? I don't but know. that's it. Like, a, 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 like, yeah. No, an accomplishment for it. Like, did you feel that? Oh, no, it did. Yeah, no, yeah. it did. No, it did. Did you keep the caps and all? And yeah, the jerseys yeah. And that. yeah, yeah. That's the one thing. I, as I said, I gave my stuff away. Yeah. I gave caps to people. And I have people texting you saying, oh, you have, like, people have that, to be caps up in their walls and stuff yeah. like that. But uh, yeah, it was a great achievement. And I loved loved every minute of it. Jerry Smith was sound, sound man. And uh, like... Everyone always says when you get into it, it's hard to get out, and it is because when you get into it and you, you put your head down, he sees you put your head down, he's not going to want to let you go. So he's saying that I was a hard worker, but like he, when I was going to League of Ireland, he actually wanted me to stay because mm. he could see that the regions was close, you know, I mean, we, we could win the regions, like, but you know, you're not going to turn the opportunity down. I was, I was 25 when I started playing professional football, which is very late for people, like. To go to England at twenty five. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's yeah. almost unheard of, isn't it? Like, well, like, it is. Who goes from like like yeah, not, you you not even league of Ireland. Yeah, not even league of Ireland. Like, top top league top league yeah. Leinster senior and goes goes to England yeah, like, like professional contract. Schoolboy football as well. Like, you weren't really in the Western team, you're kinda of like a late no, developer, don't want well, you? Schoolboy like, listen, we'll be honest now, like I was a bit I was a bit bit mad. Yeah, I I wasn't doing what I should have been doing when I was fifteen, sixteen. I was hanging around bleeding few few lads around fingers yeah, mess, yeah, just yeah, messing yeah. the way we all did but you were taking a lot more serious than me oh he was coming up Lemo was great Liam Donnelly was great Liam was, was brilliant with everything I was great, was was all, great like, I'm not messing yeah, I, I, I remember waking up I remember going out on a Saturday probably under 16 or something I remember going out on a Saturday for a few drinks I think Gick Griffin was with me <laughs> that says it all lads <laughs> <laughs> and we we uh, oh, he was in bed and I was just someone standing over my bed on the Saturday morning. Lemo. Lemo. Get the fuck out of the bed. And that's when I stopped. I stopped down. He just had a good chat with me. Lemo uh, dragged me out of bed down into his little polo. Yeah, the polo. little boy in polo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were playing away somewhere. And I went and played. And I, I think I scored two in the game. And he was like, now look. You need to get your head on it. And after after that then, well, it was head down. Well, back to your gaff there one day. And he was like, come back my man as away, or whatever. Went in. So, so I knocked the door. There's some, some boy come on the door. Goes, hey, you know, they, yeah, come on in. She turned around. There's like, she's she some shoulders on it. This country has some wood, wig, had the gloves on, <laughs> in the dress and all. Put the board voice and all on you there. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, fucking God. big shoulders on it. Dino's just a sound. I love you, sister. I was like, this fella's out there playing heaven. We've got times out there. Great times. Like, we, we were all friends playing on a team. That's that's all you want, isn't it? It's like, good to see that you kicked on though as well, you know. You yeah, didn't, well, that's what I'm saying. Lemo, like, the yeah. words from Lemo and all that, and you know what? You start thinking like the, the time people put in for you, like you give people a mention, like Dave Crampton. Dave, Dave, Dave yeah. was great, he was with me at Rivermount. Mm. Uh, Joe Bennett, mm. Joe Bennett, but Joe always gets a mention while the Rivermount Joe, Joe Bennett is unbelievable. I haven't seen him around now in a while. Um, He's still involved, Bill was yeah. telling us, wasn't he? Yeah, um, but uh, Alan Bartley. Alan Barley, oh God rest his soul, he was a gentleman. Him, nice man, we used yeah. to go up to play for the mount, and you know, you yeah. used to have to get changed up at the, the hall and the walk down, walk the down that's to the right, yeah. you used to walk down. And his wife, God rest her as well, because you'd walk by his house, it wasn't yeah. his house in on the yeah. right hand yeah. side. So I yeah. used to walk past the house, and we what 12, 13 lads, right, and we, 10, 12 years of age, whatever. And his wife used to come out with the holy water and throw it over. <laughs> and I always remember that. Yeah. And I'm good friends with, with, with his daughter. Sean, it goes out with the other. Yeah, yeah, so I'm good yeah. mates still, so it's good. But he was he was a huge influence on me, Alan, I have to say. Mm, very good, yeah. It's good to see that football boys, you went your own way and you're still friends with a lot of, a lot of people that you went to but play school boys with as well, yeah, you know? Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Just saying about like when you go to these teams, you make you make loads of friends and that's that's my favourite part of it. Yeah, I love that as well. Yeah, I did making yeah. friends yeah. in different. Oh, different you have, teams. oh, yeah, people like that was to talk about just like I'm to be so straight with the anxiety and stuff like that. A few, only a few people knew about it. Everyone's gonna know about it now, but it's a good few, thing though. Get it out there. A few for people yourself, knew yeah. it, and I tell you, like, people ringing me that I played with 10 years ago, you all right, and I heard you went off the pitch the other day, and I just tell them what it was, and all they'd never open them out about what it was, but they'd ring me up and they still ring me up now and say, like, what, what's the story, you all right, and stuff like that. Well, thank God I've sort of got a hold over it now I think I was just I was, I was talking to Alan earlier on about it. I was just born the cannon from both ends I was just down too much I took over a recovery room 
gym, stuff like that, and I'm still going to Dublin City County. I'm so, trying to squeeze football oh, in and a family in. Oh, yeah. oh my and God. It's tough like, going. Like there, yeah. this is that this is amateur football in, yeah. in a nutshell. There, yeah. there's you 100%. trying to throw yourself oh, and have a family, job, just create a business. Run a business. business. Yeah. I get, I get anxiety. I was getting anxiety from having to ring. Like I'm 38 years of age. I feel like a 15 year old having to ring my manager. I go, listen, I'm stuck on yeah. work. I'm sorry. Yeah, like, yeah. And I'd feel I feel like mm. I'd feel bad. I feel mm. bad, and then I'd be thinking. Oh, the players now are going to be saying like he's only coming League up. Of Ireland, yeah, he, he, he played League of Ireland. He thinks he's just going to go up and play. Yeah, but that's well, not he's your so far from the here. truth because I love my training, and I always did. And I hate going up. I be looking, trying, are they thinking that I'm just coming up to yeah. play because Mario was my manager now with with Kilmore. I told him the last week. I said like I'm walking. I said Mario, listen, put me on the bench. Like if if that's they put me on the bench, I don't care. Like that's the way it is. Yeah, if the lads, if lads yeah, deserve yeah. to play. They deserve to play. And Mario's trying to tell me, listen, calm down. Like, you're, you're, you're bleeding 38 years of age. You're, you've woken. My missus, Nave is being unreal because, like, she walks in Ireland and she's she's walking and her ma's mowing the baby. I'm having to go back to get the baby and all that. So, listen, you all know. You've all done it. We've all done it. Mm. We've all done it. Tried to pull out the you're post. You're out on the yeah. pitch. Like, I've been out on the pitch. I, I, I never wear watches. And I, I wear a watch now on the pitch, or not the pitch, on the training. Because if I get a phone call, I'm on call. I have mm. to say, Mario, I'm not going to get a call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it just says to me, I'd say before, man, listen, is it okay if we, I'm praying? Yeah, there's no hurry in it. Or yeah. else, you know, you have to come now. Yeah, I'd have yeah. to walk out the pitch. Yeah. So it's getting hard now. I'm totally right now. It's coming to the end. You've done your time though, Dino. You've, you've done, done the slog. Yeah, 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 so you think yeah, it's, it's time to kind of take the, the back seat, I think. Yeah. It's yeah. Hard, yeah. In the hard though to let go of it. Like, it, you oh, know it is hard because still play. No, but tell you why it's hard to let go of because, like, I was with Cholester last year and I put half a season like something like that and we were going to the league I, I, I played, played 15 games and I, I think I scored leading 12 goals 13 goals like I'm like I'm still out that's mm. the top lens of senior league I'm still out to play I'm still mm. out to score it's everything outside of football it's isn't every, it that's, everything else yeah, is killing me yeah, yeah. It. I was, yeah. everything else is killing me I just can't walk I, as I said I had the recovery room I had to sell that I can't I can't do it all yeah. and I, I had to come to it I had to come to an end so the football's going to have to come to an end you, you played up here a couple of months ago it was actually I was on the sideline myself you got a bit of stick off the, the lads bit of the stick I got a name every person was <laughs> 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 I say Alan had it all written down what to say oh a bunch of mouths <laughs> 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 I'm telling you what the two Higgies uh, <laughs> fucking Owen Humphreys <laughs> <laughs> I know I, I, didn't even, I couldn't even see Owen he's that small but yeah, he, you, you can hear him he's behind the barrier or what you call it I know it was him I know his little voice there yeah, Damn, yeah. hopefully some money. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it was so yeah. crack, was it? I was yeah. laughing at a bit of that. Yeah, yeah I think. Man. I think I actually, I think someone said something. I think I actually looked over and said something to someone yeah. where it came from. I said, well, he's give her over for fuck's sake. I couldn't Johnny. touch the ball. Like, it was a bit fucking It was like a mud bat. Yeah, it was like a, mud, like, yeah, was like a mud bat. They, like, he's, yeah. he's 38 years of age. Just look at the careers that they're having and people are going around saying, you know, you haven't touched the ball. You have to say your house in your pocket. Yeah. Yeah. I love all that. Yeah. I'd have to crack my arm when see him and whoever else, the Higgies. Like, you can imagine they could play football. <laughs> if they indoor football, over yeah. their kicks. That's why they're there. so great at shouting on the sideline because they used to all yeah. them years of yeah. not playing. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yes. But uh, yeah, look at a fucking roller coaster of a career there, Dino. Yeah, that's what we'll, that was, yeah. We'll, um, I've had roller coaster all week. And it's not over yet. I, I, was, I was hoping that we'd be still in the, in the hunt. The hunt for the league, which is, but no, we're not going to give up. Um, we're still going for promotion. I, I wish, no, I hope you do well. I hope you go a minute. Uh, in your car yourself so mm -hmm. who else is it you as well they were the top three yeah? Collins like, down you there have Collins down out there there was well. a few games for, yeah, and yeah. Have to win, we'd have to win every game but we, we won't stop till, till, the, till the death yeah it's up for grabs same with us yeah. Yeah. we'll, um, we'll, we'll go into a few um, questions Dino yeah. this should be interesting now the old questions mm. as well mm. I hope I bet you have something different from me <laughs> <laughs> you're going to kill me here Dino any regrets yeah, well, I'll answer these to the best of my ability. Uh, yeah, listen, I touched on it. Um, Jordan, this uh, in the interview, it touched on it. The drink, like I'm not an alcoholic, like or something. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I'm just a weekend. You went go yeah, out well, or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Always a big drink. Oh, he went out on a Friday after a match, mm. and then that was it for the week. Yeah, every time after a match, I went out. But if I could do it all over again, I'd knock the drink on the head while I was playing professional because I, I honestly think I could have been. 
better and I could have done better. Well, a lot of that then it would be down to, to the boredom that you haven't there, been on your own and all. If you had to kind of, you're from mm. England, you'd have family around you, you exactly. could drop down and keep exactly. yourself occupied. But well, that's the thing. And then I was, it's major I was telling the family not to come over sometimes to the games because there was one or two times I didn't get on. And w- the one time that I didn't get on, loads of people come over yeah. and I didn't get on and I was like, Do you know what? I feel terrible. You're going out there for a beer with them and like, they're like all day, and you're like, I didn't even get on. There's yeah, nothing to talk so about. You're a bit pissed off yeah. and a bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. telling people not to come over then. Mm. Well, you, next question you can pick five of these now, yeah, but your best club. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> Listen, uh, it's, we'll have to go two because two, yeah, the yeah, League yeah. of Ireland is an amateur football, then um, I'd have to go. Uh, I'd have to go Shamrock Rovers because we obviously won the league there. I loved that Shamrock Rovers. Loved it. Do you know what? I loved that boss. But I didn't get to stay, so I'd have to go Sean McGraws. And with the with the uh, amateur, like listen, I give a big shout out to Crum. The, the year with Crum was unbelievable. But the, when my brother was the manager, Talker Rovers and the team we had there, they were friends and. Uh, just the club back then was, mm. was do, do, brilliant. Do, do, do take a bit more feedback because you hadn't got the, the kids already in the kind of. Any commitments back then? Yeah, you're, you're, you're only, it's only yeah. a child, yeah. so everything was better. Like, yeah. it was a bit more no, so free. I had, and yeah, you know? had to go with Talker Rovers. The year yeah. I had with Crumb was unbelievable. The Talker Rovers was 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 brilliant. Your best player you played with? Best player I played with. You can give two. Are you looking at me? No, I gotta go. Uh, at me there? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta. I'll go. I'll go with. I'll go with two. Um, I go with Naila. Naila. Yeah. They're so over, like, yeah, oh, underrated. Underrated, underrated, yeah, yeah. Very underrated. And then uh, Martin Kramer. Mm-hmm. Martin Kramer was unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Best left foot of, of all I've ever seen. But Naylor, Naylor is like the quiet assassin or something. He's just, no, no one talks about him in the games. Never, never, ever. Naylor, Naylor never. controlled the pace of the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah no when no like, how when we played, played at Marcus, yeah, yeah. if the game was fast, Naylor was making it fast. If the game was slow, Naylor was making mm-hmm. it slow. So... Mm. Yeah, he had brilliant. that. Ability, didn't mean much, much now in, in senior football. Obviously, we played with skill, but with senior football, I didn't watch much. Is he good? Is he? Yeah, yeah. Like, just you know, everything not, was simple. I'm not saying like, if you said like the most skillful players and all this, you could go get Barber, but Naila was the most complete. Well, just get in, sit in the six, was he, and just get the ball? He's just, he was intelligent, wasn't yeah. he? I just yeah. said he could control the tempo of a game. He played yeah. simple. He didn't. He didn't. Like I don't know. Like, he didn't have that kind of like Naila was the most complete. Yeah, yeah. Player. yeah. Um, yeah. He didn't overshadow the game. He's not like a game someone that would have took yeah. the game by the scruff of the horns and be pinging yeah. a ball out here, breaking there, people or breaking up. He's just done everything yeah. right, like simple. So you go, uh, best manager. Best manager. <clears throat> well, League One, it's it's, it's Michael O'Neill. Michael O'Neill, you've seen where he went on to do it in Northern Ireland and stuff like that. I think he was just got stoked. him to a tournament, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, mm-hmm. he done well. He was just stoked there. I don't, I don't think he's anyone at the minute, is he? Um. But Jay, Jay was leading brilliant at Talker Rovers as a as a manager and a player. He could get to get players going. He was brilliant. Mm. So I, 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 I know he's my brother and all, and it looks looks favoritism. But I love that that talker with Jay. Your best friend in football. Um, look, growing up, I've gone through like the whole schoolboy and played senior level, Crockett, Carlo, um, but Naila again. I'd have to, like me and Naila grew up together. And then uh, Ron and Finn are great friends with me and Finn are great friends. Playing is he with now? Is he... he's, he's gone to UCD. UCD he, he, was, he? he was with UCD before as well. But yeah, he, he started, started off with UCD. Yeah. He started off with UCD. He was over Cambridge first and he came back. Yeah. 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 How old is he now? He's younger than us, isn't he? He's 25. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, is he? Yeah. But he's, he's uh, gone to UCD and he's gone to back to the college to do a scholarship or something. Yeah. Um, hardest player you played against? We'll go two again, yeah. Mm. Because... Uh, Nolly Murray. Was the only time you had me doing that? Nolly that, yeah. Murray was. Um, I don't know if he even scored against Nolly. To be honest with you, um, and then uh, League of Ireland, simple. Roy McBride. He was. He looked a lot like Nolly. He's it died the poor fella, but he passed just, away. He's named after the, the pitch. Dirty is named after. Is it? Yeah. Really. Um, he was found dead in his bed. I think he in his sleep or something like that. Really? But, uh, yeah. He was a uh, animal. Who we was he to, with? Dirty. We used to kill each other I mean kill each other in the games and then after the game he, me and him would force people to walk up to each other hug see in a few yeah weeks. very good brilliant, brilliant great player. that isn't it brilliant when you player. do that with people and he was he was, he was a mad thing he had, he had a stammer and he'd be like I'm going to yeah. see you in a few weeks <laughs> <laughs> where are we at there you are at your favourite memory favourite memory um, it'd, ha- it'd have to be scored in the 
to win and go for, for hours. Yeah, just for the fans, because of the fans, not because of the club and playing Shamrock Rovers and all, it was big and all, but the, the fans, it meant so much to the fans, it was crazy. Like Player that did not feel the potential. Do you know what? This fella did feel his potential in, in amateur football, but he could have gone a lot further. Get Barber. Yeah. Get Barber was bleeding unbelievable. Mm. He had everything. Strength. It, the way he held players off and just toyed with them. Men, grown men. He toyed, men. Yeah, he yeah, toyed with them. Men. It was like he was like seven foot tall. Yeah, he toyed, he toyed with him. players at times and some of the stuff you see him do on the pitch was, was ridiculous. Like, So yeah, Get Barber he thought, could have gone a lot further. He could have played in England. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. And not just like me going over for a bleeding... A year. Yeah. He could have played in England, like mm. I think he Sheffield he was with Sheffield United you know, and I think he would have signed them. But people's pack ways going yeah, from West. Exactly, yeah. Your best eleven, Dino. Oh look. There we go. Do you know what and I mixed it up and do you know what I look go with? I always go like if I wanted a, a team, I was if I was a manager, I'd want the back four being tough, tough lads like then the midfield, no nice on the ball, passing the ball, and then the centre forward just goal machines. Yeah, yeah, That's the yeah, way. Yeah, good Everyone way of looking at it. Yeah, good way of looking at it. So, yeah. it. so, so I went, we went really tough lads. Take at the back. note, managers. <laughs> I went really tough lads at the back, and then I went with nice footballers in the middle. So uh, Gav Kavner, do you remember? Off Crumlin, yeah, yeah. Gav yeah. Kavner, Gav who went, and goal? Gav went on to play. Oh, sorry, you did. <laughs> Bad man, <job>. uh, <laughs> Morgan. Morgan, 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 yeah, yeah. Because I played with Morgan for a good while. Great keeper, Morgan. He was Morgan should play yeah, league. Yeah, Morgan was brilliant. He was. Brilliant. I think he's, he's down there coaching now. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Great and lad as well. I heard he's doing great job down there with, with the keepers. You know, he's, he's great with everybody around the place, isn't he? Morgan's great. Morgan, Morgan's great. Morgan's great. Morgan could speak. He could, yeah, I'd say I haven't. He didn't speak much in the dressing room when he was a player, but it's, from what I heard, he's very good in the, in the change room. So Morgan, he had he was great shot stopper. He was great kicker of the ball, both feet, very good player. Very nice man. Mm. Um, Gav Cavanagh. Yeah. Gav was Gav I didn't was really get to solid. see Gav too much. Oh, he got in. When I was at, when I was at Crumlin with him, he was a beast. He went he away went, then, Britain. didn't he? He went to Cork. Mm. He went to uh, Nuts, Count, Nuts Forest. Forest. Then he um, he went to Cork for a couple of years, two years, and he, he played. He played at centre half every uh, every week mm. and was brilliant. I think I played, I played against him when he played for Cork. He was brilliant, yeah. So Gav... Um, He's got a know who I'm picking there because I said about yeah. Nowley, Murray, oh, yeah. Jesus. He's a beast. And you know what? what kills me about Nowley. He was overlooked with the amateur team. For years. For years. Now, I'm not going to blame Jerry Smith for that, but I don't know what it was. I think just his name wasn't put around or something. Well, I don't he was know. The best player in amateur football that stage, yeah, and he, he wasn't getting he, half he, 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 he played yeah. with the amateur team. Like, he got a late shot. He was yeah. in his yeah. peak and he didn't get anything. And then. He went and played, and he was the best player. Yeah. When he went to Crumley, he's the best player in the league, best centre half yeah. in the league. Yeah. Uh, and beside him, and uh, so Nolly would have played for Crumble, he was played for Talco, he played with Talco and Nolly. Um, Griffiths. You remember Griffiths? Centre half or Crumlin? Derek Griffin. Derek Griffin. Mm. Griffin, isn't it? It's Griffin, Griffin. yeah. It's not Griffin, yeah. it's Griffin. Derek was. He would have been the captain he, of you. Yeah, he was the captain. Team. He was, yeah, he yeah, was yeah, some, yeah, He was unbelievable yeah. captain. Probably the best captain. James, he always football. says that about him as a leader. And he had actually had a little, uh, a little reunion with the Crumlin team there a few weeks ago. When he came out, he's some crack. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Derek, Derek was solid at the back. Unbelievable captain. And I've never seen someone tackle like him. So yeah, Derek, where am I now? Uh, left back. This is gonna be. This is gonna be a strange one. You wouldn't. Uh, you wouldn't pick this. Because he's not playing in the, the Lancer Senior League. Plays down in Cork. Ken Howie. Ken. Ken yeah. Howie was. Rock I'm, from, I'm saying from the amateur team. And that's why I wanted to get someone in there from the amateur team as well. He's right footed, isn't he? No. Is he left, left footed? Foot, yeah. Or is he? Right he's, right, he's, he's, right, he's right. Brilliant. Brilliant player. And as I said, I was going with tough lads at the back. This fella's tough. He comes from a tough area in, in Cork. And I got on. Brilliant with him. Did you play in his testimonial? They had a testimonial no, for him, no. didn't they? No, I think when he had that, I was still playing, probably League of One or something. But he, I don't know what he, he was. He was just brilliant, class player. Like he'd be an eight out of ten every time in a game. So yeah, Ken Howie. Right, where we go? Right, left. I go in the middle of the park. Uh, Naylor, Naylor. As I said, Naylor was some player. He'd slow again down, speed her up. So we're gonna go with Naylor and uh, get. Get Barber. Barber. There's something good to say, isn't mm -hmm. there? Get Barber. 
Yeah, it was as we talked about my race. I don't need to say much about him. He's just all around little big superstar. He was brilliant, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah brilliant. Yeah, uh, I don't know, the people. A couple of the lads off English United and we were trying. They were like, oh, "Cause I had thought like." You don't, you don't know how to get back for this. Like, yeah. you know, because these are obviously ah, young and they were like, what, what was he like? Was he that good and all? Like, I know he was quite looking at him. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't, know. I don't even think anyone would have known him when you think about I it. Like, it was frightening. And he could have been, like, he listened to get he was overweight and stuff like that. If Git caught himself and peak yeah. shape. Yeah, he knows that himself. Him. Sure, he's even saying he wants to, he's getting an operation for his groin so he can play a bit of five. So <laughs> now he wants to get <laughs> back playing. Listen to it. But uh, right, we got, go to the left. This player I'm fitting in he could have played centre midfield and he did it. and he played on the left as well uh, Martin Kramer <sighs> Martin Kramer's just fucking ridiculous wand of a left foot he got me serious amount of goals when I was at Crumlin but yeah Martin Kramer um, so we go on the right I'm going to put this fella in um, he was the biggest workhorse of, of, a, of a player I've ever seen another player that played centre midfield but played on the right as well Keith Mar where is he yeah? Marzi, you could play in your up top as well, couldn't you? Yeah. In the middle, I started up top. I think Marzi played for Kildare County or something up top and done well. But yeah, you keep Mar on the right. Some mad stories with him. <laughs> yeah. He's um, a funny man. Mad funny man. man, great man. And uh, still Do you keep in touch with him still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the odd time we'd hear him on the phone and stuff like that. And listen, uh, all the players that you're know, friends with, you'd, you'd see them after you'd go yeah. to, like, uh, if you had something on, like, you'd invite them and stuff. Uh, where am I now? I'm up top. Two, two top. So I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. I'm not going to go 2 up top because this player that plays in number 10 is the best number 10 I ever played with. Uh, Tony Griffiths. Tony Griffiths has got me, I'd say, 90% of my goals are coming. Yeah. Guy, to, for a 10 even there, Tony, he's perfect for a 10. And you know what he's perfect for as well? He's perfect for a 6. Mm. He's not fast or, no. you know what I mean? Nothing like yeah. explosive or anything about him, but he's just well, like the, 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 the ball, yeah. good in the air. But the main, the main thing that I was saying to you earlier on about Tony is it's not hungry, you're, yeah, you're in yeah. competition yeah. With, yeah. with strikers all the time. And with Tony, it was just like, if you're in a better position, I'm going to give it to you, mm. you give it to me. But I always played up top, top, and Tony played in the 10 yeah. and he's just I'm not messing he'd find you from anywhere yeah. and he can play he can play he with winner. the ball he was a yeah, winner, winner. Tony. he can play with the ball in front of him and he can play with his back to goal as well do you know what I mean facing yeah. that way like, facing that way he played really really yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's doing great with Inch Accor now at the minute he's doing really well and you know what Like he could still play oh definitely yeah yeah. Tony he was playing last year two years ago I think he's with he's with the 34s the McGregor's Black Forge Black Forge and stuff like that Tony could still play. Brilliant player. We're we'll marking out a game though. He has, yeah, <laughs> he has the mind. It's the mind. Yeah. You know, he doesn't need the pace and stuff like that because he has a the good mind. Um, and I wanted to go because Tony wouldn't be an out and out goal scorer. Now he scored a good few goals that year at Crumlin as well. But I wanted an out and out goal scorer then up top. So I'm not putting myself. I was going <laughs> to say. That. I was gonna say here we go. I'm putting uh, there. David Lacey. Lacey, yeah, yeah. yeah David mm-hmm. Lacey. David Lacey's a legend. It's like. I walk my balls off and I see Davey doing the Similar. He's a little Davey bit similar. Off, yeah. he's, he's players, still, still if you compare them a little is, bit, yeah. they're quite similar. Yeah. Fast, explosive, good in the air, yeah. great finish and walk the bollocks yeah. off. Davey, <laughs> Davey, now, I always put my mind now and say I always walked hard, but Davey took it to another yeah. level. Yeah, he did. Even and still I always now, said that, like, you know, you know, yeah. you know you're know, you having a great game, you say, right, we're going to have to just bleed and walk hard here. That's what Davey was. And you, when you when you walk hard, you get your rewards. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's like a magnet. So you, oh, Dave Lacey. Yeah. yeah, he got everything what he deserved out of football, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Quir, is the management on the cards for you at all? Would you think about that or what? Um, yeah, I think I would. Yeah. But I'm gonna, the way I'm gonna talk about football, I'm gonna, con- gonna concentrate on me, my uncle at Preston now. He's playing for the under tens. Uh, Vinnie McCarthy's involved there, and I'm gonna just concentrate on trying to get him to improve and now. Christian's up in Ballymun now, is he? Christian's up in yeah, Ballymun. Christian's doing well. He's yeah. doing well. He's played against him, actually. He's yeah. with the 19s, and then, do you have a 12 team? Oh, what was he? What right? was he? 19. 19. 18, he's 18. He's with the... He's with the Saturday team, is he? He's with the 19s. He's with the 19s. team, yeah. With and then he's, yeah. he's with the 19s and the, and the tour team. But Gara bring him up to, for a few friendlies there and train. And I suppose he's done, a, he's done very so well. well. Yeah. good. So I, I, I'm hoping that he will be able to play in the... In the mm. top top league yeah. for Valley Moon. Yeah, keep pushing. That's such a day that yeah. they only he's if he's bringing him in at that age, so it's mm. good for him, you know. And good. he loves it. He's out, you know, he goes out, he plays for the 19th, sometimes he play in a Friday, and then oh sorry, he play for the 
to the Saturday game. Then he come out if Garrett had him out, he'd come out and play for the first team. He just mm. play, he just wants to play on yeah, yeah, that's great yeah. to have that. Oh, he just, in, all yeah. he, I'm not messing when he gets out the PlayStation, all he does is play football. Mm. But the youngest lad now, he's football mad. So I want to try and put a bit of time into him and try and get him approved because he's he's only coming into a late and uh, he's playing centre half actually and he's and he's doing well. But he, he's positional. He doesn't know his position there. Yeah, still loads of layers. Yeah, because he played Gaelic and he he doesn't know the position. What are they under? Tens. Tens. So they're still on the. He's the second. Nine or side already. Yeah. Nine yeah, or so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we've known a couple of years on nine or so, and then that's what I'm saying. So I want to try yeah. and get in there with him but now. before he gets to eleven but yeah, or so. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Listen, I'd love to give management going. I've been offered stuff like the, the League of Ireland as well, like not top end, like 16s, 15s, and all that. Like start to have things united. Then. But that's yeah. the plan is to do, do something. Want. So, but I'm just going to concentrate on trying to chill out a bit. I was just, as I was saying earlier, I was doing too much the last year or so. Yeah, and you get throw a management team into this that now again. Look, I'm probably going to. I if I do it'll be one more year if not I'm going to pack it in and just concentrate on family for a little bit yeah. and, and get the get the head right Brilliant. and all that mm, deadly you know that's a, that's a great career you know yeah thanks lads yeah, thanks, thanks pleasure, for coming in yeah. pleasure talking to you pleasure seeing you again thanks, pal. Pleasure. thanks.